it's working again, but I think you need to service it a little more often. Are you sure it's all right, Mike? It's giving off a burning smell or something, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're right, Bromwyn. I, I hadn't noticed that before. Okay, everyone, don't panic. Keep calm. Oh, keep calm? How can I keep calm? It's a fire! Tr try chanting, Mike. Just say, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping calm, I'm keeping Never calm. Never mind chanting. Move outside to safety and someone call Fireman Sam. He's been jogging all day, Sam. I saw him too. Well, he's not jogging now. <laughs> Shh, Elvis. Poor thing. He's exhausted. He sure had you two fooled, jogging all day, honestly. <laughs> Heater on fire at the fish shop. know you had a baby. It's not a baby. It's Willie's little lamb. It was all a silly joke. It's my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, Sarah. We'll take it from here. Penny, get the breathing apparatus. Elvis, prepare the hoses. I'm going to rescue the baby. Wasn't a baby, really. <laughs> so did I, Mike. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> but it is a baby, and it wants to be with Wooly. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I won't be long. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. Make sure you all take care now. Oh, at last! Great. Now we can see to test a smoke alarm. Ah, there you go, Dillis. And the rain stopped too. Things are looking up. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken in, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> oh, sausages are nearly done. Oh, and here's Helen. Ma'am! Oh, wonderful. I've arrived just in time and didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? Something to do with the power cut. I'm back. 
Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right. So nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. OK. Penny, we'll need breathing apparatus. OK, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? It's off, Sam. This is going to be so cool! I brought you some lunch. Dummy? Dummy? some wedges under the wheels this morning. I can't understand what could have happened to them. Ready, steady, go! has fallen off the key in a go-kart. I'm on it, sir. <laughs> Calm down, Norman. We're here now. Try to grab hold of the rope here. I hope this exercise goes well. Dolly's relying on us. She's in safe hands, Elvis. Norman Price hasn't returned for his lunch. He's hiding somewhere in Pontypendy. We should call Tom Thomas, sir. He can see for miles from his helicopter. <gasps> Good idea, Sam. That means the training exercise can still go ahead as planned. OK, Mandy, is there anywhere you haven't searched yet? Only the fire station, but I don't think Norman would hide there. We'd better check it out anyway. Don't say much, do you? That sounds like Tom's helicopter. I wonder what the emergency is. <laughs> Must be a fire somewhere. I can smell burning. OK, sir. The fire is ready. You can start the exercise. Oh, great! Time to sound the alarm. OK. Let's get busy. Emergency at the training tower. A fire has trapped somebody on the top floor. We'll need Jupiter and Venus on this one. Good luck, team. Don't worry, 
will have you out in no time. Let's take a sweep of the beach. Wait! Oh, no! Look at the training tower! It's Norman! Top Thomas to Jupiter Crew. Look at the top of the tower, Sam. It's Norman Price! What's he doing up there? Help! Elvis, you keep the fire at bay. Penny, stabilise Jupiter and raise the ladder. in danger. House. Oh no, the firework party! <laughs> Whoops, not again. <laughs> There's a fire at the floods. There must have been an accident with the fireworks. Elvis, Sam, take Jupiter, I'll man the control desk. Shed right now! Don't say that, Norman! Sam! Sam! We think Lion might be hiding in that workshop! Again? Okay, we'll check. sign of Lion. He wasn't in the shed, I'm sure of it. Ooh, oh, well done, Sam. Goodness. That's lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I want to go home now to see if Lion's turned up. I'll give you a lift. Oh, but we haven't seen all the fireworks yet. I think we've had enough fireworks for one night. Me too. Next time we're going to a proper display. It's much safer. We haven't put out a fire that big for a long time. So long, I nearly forgot how to do it. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it, Elvis? Well, I never. It's Lion. Slide on the beach has trapped James Jones. Station Officer Steele is at the scene. James Jones is trapped under a rock fall on the beach. We'll need to take radar, Penny. I'd better call Bronwyn. This is a good place to bury my coins. Station Officer Steele will definitely find them here. Oh, sounds like Jupiter. <laughs> I wonder what's up. Over here, Sam! Ah, 
He's somewhere under these rocks. Go, Radar. Go find James. Radar's sensitive nose will locate exactly where James is stuck, so we can get him out without disturbing the rocks around him. Good boy. Are you OK, James? Uh, yeah, not a scratch. Nothing hit me. I'm just trapped behind these rocks. Penny, get that tarpaulin from Jupiter. We're going to have to rig up a shelter in case any more rocks fall. OK, Sam. Glad you could make it, Elvis. Thanks, sir. Uh, hello, Sam! Ah, there you go. Easy, James. Let's check you over. Uh, thanks, Sam. Thanks, everyone. I should have stayed away from the cliffs like you said, Station Officer Steel. You were lucky this time, James. Why did you dig there, anyway? I thought I'd found something for Mum's birthday. But it was just this old tin can. I really wanted to get her something special. James Jones, you safe and sound is all I want. <sighs> Station Officer Steele, how about one last go to see if we can find those coins? I think I've had enough metal detecting for one day. Oh, go on, sir. Just a quick go. Oh, all right. Come on, Cridlington. Norman! Come out! We have to go back or we'll get trapped by the tide! We need help! Maybe someone will see me from the rocks. I knew there was never a dinosaur. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. <gasps> James! What? The water! We're trapped! <gasps> yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. James, Sarah, Norman, missing? Uh... Oh, dear. James, Sarah and Norman are all missing. They're seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air. Penny and I will search from the water. Okay, Sarah. I got you. But where are Norman and James? They went into the cave, but I don't know if they can get out. The cave entrance looks flooded, Sam. Help! 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 James, look! There's something swimming under the water. Boys. Norman, come back! It's Penny! I knew that. Oh, don't be scared. You're safe now. I'll get you out. What about me? I'll be right back, Norman. Hold on to me, James. Oh, it's chilly. Don't worry, James. The tide is going out again now. The water's going down. <laughs> Knows 
where he's going. <laughs> Maybe he's just hungry. I know I am. I think my dad was right. Peter's not really a rescue dog. Come on. We better take him back to the station. <laughs> Be quiet, silly dog. Wait, Mandy. I think I hear something. Don't be silly. <gasps> I think that's my dad's van. Sam! Mike Flood's had an accident. He's trapped at the whole fish cafe. Accident at the whole fish cafe. Person trapped. We'd better radio Nurse Flood. It sounds like we could need medical assistance. OK, Sam. Easy, Mike. We'll soon have you out of here. Oh. Be careful, Sam. Don't move him. We need to immobilise him in case he's injured his back. I brought the stair chair to lift him out, Sam. We can't use the stair chair, Elvis. There aren't any stairs anymore. We'll need the stretcher. Right, uh, stretcher. Easy does it now. Wallabies, not again! <laughs> that bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> Need 
to put this on properly, Norman. Sorry, Sam. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Never mind. I got you now. Take us up, Tom. Norman, man. Fisherman Charlie is coming. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Okay, I'm ready now. I'm not. I need to start the camera again. Oh! Is somebody coming to rescue me or not? I'm coming, Sarah. I'm coming. Oh! Dad! Oh, uh, I'm stuck, Sarah. Help! Never fear. Norman Man's here. Norman, stop messing about. You're not really a superhero. <laughs> I'm going back to call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Somebody hurt on the beach. <laughs> There's somebody hurt on the beach, Sam. Sounds like a Coast Guard job. You better get down to the lifeboat with Penny. Charlie. Oh, uh, hello, Sam. Uh, nothing really. I, I, I just hit a rock and, and fell overboard. Uh, and my foot stuck in the lobster pot. I, I, I can't get up. Oh, dear. I'll dive down and take a look. You must have been going pretty fast when you hit that rock, Charlie. I know. I was trying to be a hero. Yeah. 